Hey everyone, this is Chill Store Beauty here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a tutorial I did around woodland creatures. I am still in the mood for fall vibes, of course. Also, if you're interested in any of the products um, for today's video from Maniology, you can use my code CHILLS10 for 10% off. It does not work on the subscription boxes, the Mania by Me, but it works on basically everything else. Other than that, let's get started. All right, so on my ring finger, I used China Glaze's The Snuggle is Real. This is from that Autumn Spice collection that China Glaze had for this year, um, for their fall collection. And I have to say, I really enjoy this. Um, this was actually on my ring finger. I did two coats, of course, um, so that I could do some reverse stamping that you're going to see later on in the video. Otherwise, I love the formulation. All right, and then on my middle finger, I went ahead with the Spice to Meet You by Chana Glaze. Again, same collection, Autumn Spice. This is definitely like my favorite out of the collection because it's got that burnt orange pumpkin vibes. I am living for this. Oh my goodness, two coats. It's a solid, I love it. it was, it's literally the perfect color for fall. All right, so I'm coming in here with the transitional color from summer to fall. I don't know why I was blanking out. This is Cuba Diving. Oh my goodness. I was thinking of like a bright blue sky on a clear fall day. This is perfect. Two coats solid. All right, so I came in then with Take It or Leave It. This is going to go on top of that blue. Oh my goodness. It literally looks like little fall leaves on your nail. I mean, doesn't it look like fall leaves falling down in that crisp autumn bright blue day? You can't tell me it doesn't. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, and these are the tools I'll be using today. This is gonna be the monocle stamper and also the 106 uh, drawing brush. However, this type of version is only related to the Little Horrors box. Unfortunately, that's no longer available, but you can still get a monocle stamper and 106 on their website. All right, and so the plate that I'm going to be using today is the M076 Fall Layers Cozy Campsite. This was so cute. I love the fact that it had all these different little like fall leaves, little woodland creatures. This is the reason why I went with this plate because it's still giving me that kind of like transitional vibes. All right, so the stamping polishes I'm going to be using is Settle Up, Spiced Orange, Northern Lights, Marmalade, Fireside. So I basically wanted to um, do reverse stamping with this particular image um, because I wanted to kind of incorporate the different colors to go against or at least contrast against the snuggle is real. So I also wanted to have it where it kind of matched with the little, you know, flakies from KB Shimmer, um, you know, like that kind of that giving that like different colors that the, the leaves change in the fall. So that's why I went with this. Um, and then of course I just time lapse this because um, otherwise we'd be here forever if, you know, I was actually doing this in real time. No, seriously, um, I would say to fill this whole thing in, it probably took about a good maybe four minutes. Before we put that stamp up on our finger we got to use the liquid latex to get it prepared otherwise we're going to be in a world of trouble so if you do have a latex allergy you can also use Manny Allergy's Manny mask and that one of course is latex free all right and then I use the sticky base coat since I've actually let my nail polish dry before I actually stamp and here I'm gonna basically go ahead and position it getting it ready and then a squish and oh my goodness, I love this. I was also rocking it back and forth because I was so afraid that that deer was basically not gonna stick. I don't know why. Sometimes the monocle stampers work for me, sometimes they don't. And then so right afterward, I wanted to make sure that everybody was kind of, you know, down in place um, before I actually did my cleanup. And then after I did my cleanup, I then went ahead with the smudge-free top coat because, oh man, I would have been crying 
at that point of how much work I put into it if it started to smear and then a little bit more cleanup so it's not a problem just make sure that you know you try to get into those areas I don't know I think I went a little bit ham with the smudge freak top coat so I used straight up black and this was gonna be for the image that was gonna say fall in love I then put a good amount of the black polish down you quickly scrape and then you roll the stamp to get a good pickup. I position my stamp, get ready to stamp. I then rock it back and forth just to make sure that it sticks. When I saw the squirrel image, I was like literally in love. I was like, you need to be on my middle finger. So yes, I chose him, of course. Um, however, I wanted to color him in. I wanted to give him some color to like be vibrant. So I chose spice orange for him. Um, and then I did like a time lapse as you can see here. This did not take long, but he looks fabulous. Now, because I have a wonky middle finger, this was a struggle to kind of make sure that he was dead center. But yeah, totally worth it. But he was so stinking cute. make sure everything doesn't smudge. Of course, I went back again with my smudge free top coat and then I wanted to seal in everything. I used my super chic lacquers quick drying top coat. Um, of course, I really enjoy this because it basically gives like this nice glossy smooth finish. Of course, um, I will actually do this before I will mat my fingers so that I don't have any bumps or ridges. I wanted to mattify my nails, so I went with the Sassy Sauce Polish Matte Top Sauce. Uh, this is a really nice matte top coat. I really enjoy it. Um, this is really my go-to. I now won't touch really any other matte top coat, so definitely a winner in my opinion. Did you like my mani? Are you going to recreate it? Are you team glossy or team matte? Let me know down below. I would love to see your responses. Plus, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more tutorials like this, join the Chili Crew by clicking on the subscribe button. I have more videos at the end you can see. Until then, take care and stay chilly.